Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 421. Regulation of Cerebral Perfusion. What does brain perfusion rely on? Brain perfusion relies on tight autoregulation. What drives cerebral perfusion? Cerebral perfusion is primarily driven by PCO2. In what condition does PO2 modulate perfusion? PO2 modulates perfusion in severe hypoxia. How does therapeutic hyperventilation help in patients suffering from stroke or trauma? Hyperventilation decreases PCO2, which helps decrease the intracranial pressure in cases of acute cerebral edema, and this is done via decreasing cerebral perfusion. Describe what is happening in picture 1 of regulation of cerebral perfusion. In this first picture here, you see the normal PO2, which is at 100 arterial gas pressure. And here it will show you that hypoxemia increases cerebral perfusion pressure only when PO2 is less than 50 millimeters of mercury. So this will help you understand what we just mentioned about therapeutic hyperventilation. Since in therapeutic hyperventilation, you would prevent that PO2 to drop below 50 mmHg and therefore this will lead to decrease in cerebral perfusion and therefore a decrease in the intracranial pressure in situations such as a stroke and trauma. Describe the second picture of regulation of the cerebral perfusion. In the second picture here, you will see the normal PCO2, which is around 40 mmHg. And as the levels of CO2 increase, the perfusion pressure also increases. So that just remember that the cerebral perfusion pressure is proportional to PCO2 until PCO2 reaches over 90. And after this point, even if CO2 levels are increasing, the perfusion pressure stays the same. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.